Hello and welcome back to another episode of Crypto Unplugged, where we break down the latest happenings in the world of cryptocurrency. I'm your host, Sinzi, and today we are diving into a massive shift in the crypto space, Ethereum 2.0 and its transition to proof of stake. To help explain this major update, we've got Steve, an animal food seller by day and a crypto enthusiast by night. Welcome, Steve. Hey, Senzi. Thanks for having me. I may sell animal food, but I can talk crypto all day, especially about Ethereum's big changes. Glad to have you here. So, Ethereum 2.0 has been in the works for a while, but a lot of people still aren't sure what it's all about. Can you break down what Ethereum 2.0 is for our listeners? Sure thing. So, Ethereum 2.0 is a major upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain. One of the biggest changes is the move from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. In the old system, proof-of-work, Ethereum miners had to solve complex puzzles to verify transactions, which used a lot of energy. Now, with proof-of-stake, instead of mining, people can stake their Ethereum to help secure the network and validate transactions. It's faster, more efficient, and way less energy-intensive. That's a huge shift. Proof-of-work was always criticized for its environmental impact, right? Exactly. Mining in proof-of-work uses a ton of electricity. For example, Ethereum used to consume as much energy as some small countries. With proof-of-stake, we are talking about a 99% reduction in energy usage. That's a game-changer, especially with all the concerns about crypto's environmental footprint. That's incredible. But some people might wonder, how does this transition affect the regular Ethereum users? Great question, Senzi. For everyday users, the change will be mostly seamless. You won't need to do anything different with your Ethereum, except you might notice faster transaction speeds and lower fees over time. But for those who want to get involved, they can actually stake their Ethereum to earn rewards. It's a way to help secure the network and make some passive income at the same time. That's pretty cool. So instead of mining, users can just stake their ETH and potentially earn rewards? Yep, exactly. In proof of stake, validators are chosen to confirm transactions based on how much Ethereum they've staked. The more you stake, the higher your chances of being selected as a validator and earning rewards. But don't worry, it's not just for the rich. There are also staking pools where people can combine their Ethereum to participate together. I like that. But do you think there are any risks involved with this switch? I mean, proof of work had its downsides, but it was tried and tested. There's always some level of risk when you are making such a big change. One concern people have is centralization. With proof of stake, those with more Ethereum have a greater influence on the network. But Ethereum's developers are working hard to keep the system as decentralized as possible. Another thing is slashing. If a validator tries to act maliciously, they could lose some of their staked Ethereum. So it's a system that really incentivizes people to play by the rules. That's a good safeguard. Now, Steve, as someone who works in a business like Animal Food Sales, how do you think Ethereum 2.0 will affect businesses and merchants in the long run? Honestly, I think it'll be great for businesses. Ethereum 2.0 promises faster transactions and lower fees, which means quicker payments and more cost-effective operations for merchants. It'll make accepting Ethereum as a form of payment much more attractive, especially for small businesses like mine that can't afford to lose money to high transaction fees. That's definitely something to look forward to. Before we wrap up, what's your final take on Ethereum 2.0 and its transition to proof of stake? My take is that Ethereum 2.0 is a massive step forward for the entire blockchain ecosystem. It's addressing key issues like scalability, energy consumption, and high fees, all while making Ethereum more accessible to regular folks. It's an exciting time, and I think this is just the beginning of Ethereum's journey. Well said. Thanks, Steve, for breaking it all down for us today. It's clear that Ethereum 2.0 is going to reshape how we think about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Thanks, Senzi. It's always a pleasure talking crypto with you. And to our listeners, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Crypto Unplugged. Be sure to subscribe and stay updated on the latest in crypto. Until next time, keep your wallets secure and your minds open. <laughs>